Hi, I'm District 3 Commissioner Terenia Carthen, and welcome to District Dialogue. Douglas County is very fortunate to have several ministries dedicated to improving the quality of life for our citizens. But there is only one shelter in District 3 dedicated to single women in crisis. That shelter is named JC Freedom House. To learn more about JC Freedom House and its mission, I am joined in the studio with the shelter's director, Marigold Edwards. Thank you for joining me, Marigold. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. No problem. Now, can you tell me, what is JC Freedom House? JC Freedom House is a shelter in Douglas County. It's dedicated to single women in crisis who are have come to be in crisis for whatever the reason, but they need somewhere to stay, somewhere safe to stay. So um, about, I'd say, eight out of 10 of the women that come to our shelter are fleeing domestic abuse. Um, we've had women come directly from their cars, mm -hmm. who have been living in their cars, that have come to our shelter. So the whole purpose of it is to help women have a safe place to stay, and then we provide support services to them, so food, clothing, um, personal care items, anything that they need. And one of our key things is to help them transform their thinking so that they never have to go through that kind of crisis again. Um, and we are Jesus Christ Freedom House, so that runs through all our work and our training and our teaching that we do with them in the group therapy. Okay, mm. that's, that's great, because you know, you think about that there are there are shelters, right? Mm. And most shelters house families. Yes. Yeah, they house women or, or men yes. with families possibly. Yes. But I never knew of a shelter that only dealt with just single women. Yeah, when I was, um, I, I had to flee my home because of domestic violence. Oh, so this is personal. It is very personal. Okay. I was two months in the county, a newlywed, and I found myself in a domestic violence situation. I had to flee for my life. And I went to the emergency shelter, and that was wonderful. They, they helped me there. But it's only for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. And so when that time was up, I mean, I looked everywhere to see if there was a place for a single woman. Mm -hmm. And um, understandably so, most of the, the places, the transitional places for you to, to go to are for women with children. Mm -hmm. And there was, no, there was definitely nothing in Douglas County and then I found out about this house, and, um, and I was just excited that there was somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so um, I stayed there until I recovered from my situation. I had a year of great distress, mm. um, you know, temporary protective orders, you know, breaking temporary, you know, that it was broken, the order was broken, mm -hmm. all sorts of different things I had to go through, litigation, so many different challenges. Mm -hmm. And then my health suffered, depression, um, anxiety, and I lost so much weight. Because it's um, stressful to be in those type of situations, very, very you know, the very stressful. person that you thought, you know, would love you and together you all would build a life has now come to be your source of pain as opposed to your source of joy. And so how do you mentally, one, recover from that and get in the right frame of mind? And then two, where is your support to do that? Well, exactly. I mean, my family were 4,000 miles away. Wow. You know, so um, they weren't there. It was, um, I'm pleased to say, it was essentially strangers that helped me to get myself back on my feet. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I'd always had a heart to help the homeless, but mm -hmm. I didn't have the, the, you know, the possibility at that time to help the homeless. But I really felt that um, me and the then, the then people that ran it, they ran it for seven years before I, I um, st uh, restarted it. We felt that I could do that, but I didn't have any money to purchase the shelter. And so actually- I, 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 have, I hate to stop you, but yes, I have to. Yes, go ahead. So you were once a woman mm -hmm. who was in the shelter. Yes, absolutely. Who has now gained the strength through strangers to get back on her feet mentally, physically, financially, and now you are running the shelter to help other women who were once, who you were once like them. Absolutely. And I think that's, that's the, amazing. It is. It's, a great, <laughs> it's the greatest gift that I have to be able to help women that were in the same situation as me. It's, it's such a gift 
to be able to do that. It really is a gift because yeah. they know that you were once where they are and to see you living, breathing, live, mm -hmm. you know, actually walking it out every day. Mm -hmm. it get, I know if it was me, it would give me hope to say, okay, mm -hmm. she did it. I can do it. Oh, they've told me that many times. Yeah, yeah. They've told me it that many to times. It has to be a great inspiration for them. Yeah, that they just, and it, and all the, the volunteers, because I, I work as a volunteer mm -hmm. there, um, we're still working on our funding so that I can get something. Mm -hmm. um, but currently, I uh, survive by the, you know, the, the, the grace of God mm -hmm. and um, just the help from the community. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then my means, you know, my, uh, my needs are very small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so, um, so yeah, it was a very, very difficult situation. Um, and so when it, when it, they said that they couldn't do it anymore, and so they, they, they said, are you still interested in the shelter? I said, I'm still interested, but I don't have the money yet. Mm -hmm. And they waited for about a year, and I didn't uh -huh. get the money. And so they, they closed down the shelter. All the women oh, had wow. to leave, and they, um, and they emptied the house, and it was mm -hmm. put on sale. Oh, wow. Yeah, and so, um, and then later on, they said to me, um, the house is not selling Marigold. Are you still interested in it? It's like, we don't think that God's going to allow it to be sold. <laughs> because its intended purpose <laughs> was to be a shelter for women, you know, who, who fell on, on hard times, who Absolutely. found themselves homeless or were fleeing their, their own homes because Absolutely. they needed to save their own lives. Yeah. Wow, and and that was how it was. I mean, we we did the lease purchase agreement, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, mine was the lowest offer that they received, but they took it, and that's how the shelter was reborn wow. uh, approximately three years ago. Wow. Okay. Uh, and it's tell, been helping women ever since. Tell me this. Tell me, um, what's one of the most important things that J C Freedom House? has done. Now I know getting women a safe place mm -hmm. until they get them themselves back mm -hmm. on their feet. Mm -hmm. But tell me what's one of the most important things that you see that the shelter has done that um, you you would want the community to know. Because oh. it's not just the shelter. Yeah, that's right. It, that's right. Um, it supports women in crisis and those that have children. I I think f from the standpoint of the women, the most important thing is uh, a peaceful place to stay, mm -hmm. a peaceful and safe place to stay. That is the most important thing. To see that happen is just, you know, it's, it's a lot. In terms of our, our outcomes, since we restarted about three years ago, uh, about 15 women have gone through the program. Mm -hmm. About four of them have stayed for the full year that they can stay, mm -hmm. and others that we've helped them transition out. Mm -hmm. um, we connect them with programs that can give rental assistance. We provide the food, the clothing, all those kinds of things. And then the one-to-one -one therapy because, and the group therapy, because this is what does the transformation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And every, Jesus Christ runs through everything that we do. Mm -hmm. And this is what makes a transformation. Um, and so we have, um, I think we've, we've had over 4,000 um, bed nights that we have provided. Um, every woman that has come to that shelter, 100% mm -hmm. of the women that needed a job when they came there got jobs. 100% wow. um, job placement. 100% of the women that were separated from their children mm -hmm. when they came to our shelter were unite, reunited. Um, That's staggering. Yeah. That, that really is. That, yeah. that shows that what support you have in place for them is absolutely working. If 100% of the women that come through JC Freedom That's House right. are reunited with their children and they're able to sustain themselves with a job. That's right. That's phenomenal. That's right. That's, that's our track record so wow. far, and mm -hmm. we intend to continue it. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've had lots of different success stories. That with the, the, uni with the, re the reunification of the women with the children is one of our biggest things. Um, we're still working with women right now to get them unified with their children. Um, but one of our, our, our great success stories, there was a woman that when she first came to the shelter, um, she, I'll never forget, she said to me, 
we, we gave her the tour of the shelter. Mm -hmm. uh, this is where the toiletries are, help yourself. Um, this is where the food is, um, help yourself. Um, there's food in the refrigerator, help yourself. Um, this is where the clothing donations are, help yourself. And she was just overwhelmed mm -hmm. because she, she basically she said she didn't, up until that point, she didn't know where her next meal was coming from. Wow. And she was just, she could have whatever she wanted. Mm -hmm. it was, there was an uh, abundance there for her to just take what she needed. It was a, and then that woman, she was failing in college. She was doing a college degree, but because of her homelessness, she was failing. Mm. And she went on to increase her, her, her grade point average from 1.8 1, 1 to 4. And to six, a 4 point? Yes, and wow. she successfully graduated. Wow. Yeah, she successfully graduated. Wow. Wow. So what people need to know is these are not uneducated women. It's this mixed. can happen to anyone anyone mm -hmm. anyone I mean we have guest speakers that come who um, and to speak to the women and they're all very high profile and it also always astounds me where they had to get th come through to to get that most of them have been through domestic abuse mm -hmm. and it just it's just astounding so it really does give the women hope mm -hmm. that this is temporary this too shall pass mm -hmm. and I just need to keep working through it. I just need mm -hmm. to keep working through mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. and, and do what I had to do because mm -hmm. I mean I went through moments of great hopelessness mm -hmm. when I was going through that situation so I can really relate Mm -hmm. um, but it does pass, mm -hmm. especially if you get some help. If you get help and if you know that there are people who believe in you, yeah. right, who are there to support you, yes. and there's a community there. And, and one of the things that I really, truly appreciate about Douglas County mm -hmm. is Douglas County, yeah, we're, we're 20 minutes from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You know, we're 20 minutes west of a big city, mm -hmm. yet we have this small town feel where yes. you can actually help the people who you're shopping next to. You're, you can actually help people that you go to church with. Yes. You can actually reach, you know, your, your elected officials. Like we, we are not, Absolutely. you know, hands off. That's we right. actually, you know, take pride in our community and helping those who want the help, who are looking for the help and who want to help themselves. And, mm -hmm. you know, to, to let down your guard and say, hey, I need some place. Can you help me? And then, there is a place where they can go receive that help Absolutely. within the place that they are already living. Because yes. a lot of times you, you, you may have a job, you may not mm. have a place to stay, That's right. right, right, but your job mm. may be in that community. That's right. And to get displaced somewhere else means you may have to give up, you know, some of those things. You may have to leave your kids if you had to go to Atlanta to a shelter, mm. you know, Absolutely. or to another county, Cobb County for that shelter, that means you don't get to see your kids. That's right. You know, so, so it's so important that as a county, we make sure that we, you know, we one, let people know yeah. that places like yours exist so that they can donate. Their, their dollars are donated within the county and it helps those that they're in relationship with, that they're neighbors with. Yeah. And, and that brings us to a very important point. Um, our lease purchase agreement uh, is up in October. Mm -hmm. And we, um, we thought that the shelter was going to have to close down. We were doing a lot of fundraising. Mm -hmm. um, we're still having to do a lot of fundraising. But recently, a private individual came forward and said that we're going to tide you over. We're going to give you a loan so that we could keep the shelter going. The women can still wow. have their home. Wow. And that happened just last week. And so we're just so excited. Mm -hmm. And so what we really need now is people to partner with us and give a monthly donation. We do have partners. Mm -hmm. but. You know, we've got quite a big loan to, to repay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> and so we're, we're asking for the community partner with it. And no amount, any amount will help. Mm -hmm. um, we're asking for $25, $50, $100, but we'll take any dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, and people just need to go on our website and just click on donation and say, make this monthly. And you'll be supporting women uh, and crisis, in crisis. Mm -hmm. um, currently, we... I think we've helped seven children on an outreach basis mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the community has done things like provided them with book bags, um, some of them needed push chairs, all sorts of different things, whatever mm -hmm. the need is, that's what we do at Daisy Freedom House. Mm -hmm. Whatever that woman's need is, we reach out to the community mm -hmm. and the community, to their credit, help. You know, gas cars, whatever it is, the community is help. It's, we, we have a tremendous community here. Yourself and other um, commissioners and people in authority in this county have come in and given mm -hmm. inspirational s 
mm. talks to the women. Mm. And I'm telling you, it makes such a big impact. Mm -hmm. And not only because it helps the women with their self-esteem, that somebody who is in a position of authority and you know has achieved mm -hmm. is interested mm -hmm. in sharing with them, mm -hmm. to encourage them. Um, but also the, the actual content of what's being shared is mm -hmm. very practical mm -hmm. and it helps the women. And so we've been very, very fortunate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know for me personally, my, my mother um, was in a um, domestic abuse situation and she wow. would not leave because um, one, she didn't have any other place to go. And although we were born and raised, she just didn't want to pick up and then take us to somebody else's house because that would uproot our lives. So, yeah. she, so she stayed in, in an abusive wow. relationship. And as a child, I didn't understand that. As a child, mm -hmm. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't understand one, why she wouldn't fight back, mm -hmm. but two, why she just wouldn't uproot and leave. Mm -hmm. And I never thought about how that would impact us. Now I know watching her go through that, I always said, I will never be in that type of relationship, yes. you know, yes. you know. And, but then as I got older, mm -hmm. I started to realize why she did some of the things that she did, right? So it, it made me educate myself mm -hmm. and have compassion for, for those. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I, I still yeah. work for a domestic violence shelter. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the key question is that people need to ask is, why doesn't he go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's making her life a hell. Why doesn't he go? Why mm -hmm. doesn't he leave her with the children and go? And the main reason why he won't go is because he gets the opportunity to, to have power and control and be the man at your, around town and um, get, to, uh, why anybody would want to control anybody else, I don't know, but he gets to control and that gives him what feeds whatever it feeds in him. Mm -hmm. And he, he won't go, mm -hmm. he won't leave. Mm -hmm. And so she won't get the help that's necessary. Yeah. So she has to stick in the situation. She has to stick in the situation. And sometimes she's being threatened, the dogs are being threatened, the cats Kids. are being threatened, the children are mm -hmm. being threatened. There's so much stuff that goes on. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I think people do, do need to be aware that um, who is the problem, that mm -hmm. it's not actually that woman, mm -hmm. it's the perpetrator that is mm -hmm. the problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, the perpetrator needs help. Um, my, my, yes, yeah, my, absolutely. Yeah, yeah my, my absolutely. stepfather was, was a great man, business-wise. Mm -hmm. He just did not know how to control his temper right. or, or those types of things. Yes. So, you know, getting, getting to a place where both men and women have a place to go, and in this case, it's the woman, to give that separation, to give mm -hmm. that safety, to give that in the community that they are uh, accustomed to being in, and, and one that they've put mm -hmm. roots in to me is why JC Freedom House is so near and dear to my heart. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. So some of the resources are, um, are clothing, Yes, clothing donations. We uh -huh. accept women's clothing donations from the community. Mm -hmm. People just need to reach out to us on our website. Okay. We always need volunteers um, to work in our shelter, to work in our admin space. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other resources are the gas cards. We always need donations of gas cards because mm -hmm. the women, sometimes they run short, but mm -hmm. generally every month we give out some gas cards to the women. Mm -hmm. um, but not the same women necessarily, <laughs> but you. they may run out. Mm -hmm. And then food cards, because although we find f we do provide food, there are items that they, you know, they still need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and even visa cards, all those things help the women personally. Mm -hmm. And then if people want to help, they just need to go on our Facebook Facebook, JC Freedom House, mm -hmm. um, Facebook or jcfreedomhouse.com because um, we normally post the need, the women's mm -hmm. needs there mm -hmm. so that if somebody can help, mm -hmm. then we're willing to help. And we, we love people to come in and do service projects. Mm -hmm. Our yard, you know, always can deal with a bit of attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so we love that. Mm -hmm. um, we always need paper goods like toilet paper and um, paper towel. Um, these are the things that we, we provide for the women. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what makes us different from most transitional shelters. We, we, we keep the fee very low um, and we just provide what's needed, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, which you wouldn't normally get. Mm -hmm. You're a good steward of the resources. Yeah. And, you know, and women, as women, mm -hmm. we know how to um, take a nickel and turn it into a quarter. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. We, we, we will make sure that we, we use the, the resources. We're very frugal. Yeah, yeah. Very frugal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So tell me this how is the shelter kept secure? 
Well, um, that's another good thing. Somebody kindly, we, need, we knew we needed a, uh, a security system. Mm -hmm. And so we have a security system with cameras and alarms that are linked up okay. to all the emergency services. But mm -hmm. when we first came, we didn't have that. Um, even every window is alarmed. Mm -hmm. you know um okay. you know generally people just alarm the doors but because of the nature of it mm -hmm. we, we've had to make it more secure and yeah it was a, an individual that helped us install that mm -hmm. and uh, helped us pay for a year which was just wonderful mm -hmm. um, and then we have obviously um we, we teach the women on how to keep themselves safe. Wow. Yeah, okay. that's something, a part of their case management plan is, one of the items is how do I keep myself safe? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so it's reviewed every month. Uh -huh. And then they, and we just, and, then, and we, de we, we, we determine how, what progress they make, they make. So their housing is reviewed, their education, their training, whatever it is, we review that mm -hmm. on a weekly and a monthly basis. That's amazing. Yeah, so we really goal set them. But um, because of my background, I was a CPA and also um, business support um, and a professor. I used to do a lot of executive coaching. Mm -hmm. And so I suppose some of those principles have sort of mm -hmm. gone through those to the skills women. skills have now transferred yeah. over. Yeah, because the women have told me, oh, I need some of those sheets when I leave so that I can mm -hmm. carry on mm -hmm. with their own weekly goal setting. This and is good. So, oh, so yeah. tell me about the transition after the shelter. The shelter that the women mm -hmm. are there for mm -hmm. up to a year. Yes, that's right. And then afterwards, they go on? They certainly do. Um, we've had women go on to, um, we've had a couple of travel nurses. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've had a couple of people that that's what they did. They went on to be a travel nurse. And then we've had women that have gone to different states and taken up jobs. And we've had women that have stayed here and right in Douglas County and got their accommodation. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, it, it's been, I, I really put it in, I really give God the credit mm -hmm. for this because mm -hmm. we've had a lot of success stories mm -hmm. um, from that shelter where women have just turned their lives around. Um, we've had women that have come there, they've been in such controlling relationships that they didn't even know how to manage their finances. Oh, wow. That's a sum, we do that. We have budget, they, they budget every month. We have people come in and talk on budgeting. Mm -hmm. We have people come in and talk on the, um, credit repair and those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So they, they do get very much equipped. They do. To, to transition and yeah. be successful after the shelter so that they never have to seek another shelter again. Absolutely. And those women are, I would say, probably more prone to help other women not have to take that route, right? Absolutely. Because they can see the signs Absolutely. and they can, you know, help those other women that they may come across. Yeah, I, yeah. I get told by the women quite often that they want to help other people. Mm -hmm. You know, they, I get that told very often. Mm -hmm. That's that's, mm -hmm. that's something they've wanted to do yeah. and they plan to do. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I, I, I just want to applaud you sitting here. You know, <laughs> the, what you've done, what you've overcome, mm -hmm. how you are now, you know, making a difference in our community. Um, I don't know where the single women who were you know, abuse in Douglas County would go if you didn't say, hey, I want to stay here and I want to do what you guys did for me. I want to be that catalyst to help. And it has made a difference. And that's why, you know, myself and, and others, including, mm. you know, the judges have come and, yes. and, and have spoken because mm. we know the, the sacrifice that it took for you to do that. Mm -hmm. But we also know how it helps to benefit our community. It, Absolutely. It really does. Yeah. So whatever we can continue to do to sound the alarm, to let people know that we have a gem in Douglas County in JC Freedom House, Thank that we you. want to keep you here. And of course the county just can't do everything, <laughs> but however we can assist you in making sure that our citizens quality of life is, is kept up, we, we want to do it. So that's why I wanted to have you on. I have lived in Douglas County now almost 19 years mm -hmm. and I didn't know JC Freedom House was here. Mm -hmm. Not that I didn't know mm -hmm. women who you know were in domestic situations mm -hmm. that through no fault of their own yes. you know but I didn't know we had a place out besides there was one other shelter that I knew of but yes. I didn't know JC Freedom House existed until you came to me and you said hey yes. you know we're here and do yes. you mind coming to speak to the women yes. and I was like oh wow 
Yeah. This is amazing. So to get the tour of the property, which our viewers will, will get to see, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's amazing mm -hmm. what you've done, how you've taken it, how you, with limited dollars, limited resources, have really given this community um, a lot. Absolutely. It was literally my mum that gave me the money for the, the wow. lease deposit. Wow. And uh, we just used our personal resources to mm -hmm. set that thing up. And then the community got behind us. Mm -hmm. You know, we had hotels donate furniture. Mm -hmm. We had like Faith in Action, they donated furniture. So many. Yeah. Crawford Church of Douglasville. So, just so much mm -hmm. help. It was, Douglas it was, County is a gem. It, it, it really it, it, it is. is. It really is. It is. Yeah. Um, and one other way that um, the community can help, mm -hmm. um, as a fundraiser, because we have to pay off that house, mm -hmm. I'm using my first book as a fundraiser, it's the 12 Success Lessons, and it is an empowerment book. Mm -hmm. We actually use it with the women, and it is a bestseller, because mm -hmm. Douglas County made it a bestseller because they try to support us. Yes. But please do, it's, it's only $10, and um, people just have to go on our website. And give us your website. It's jcfreedomhouse.com. jcfreedomhouse.com. Yeah. And if people want to directly connect to you, how can they do that? jcfreedomhouse.com. Phone number is there. Email is there. Wonderful. And even our postal address is there. Mm -hmm. And I would, I welcome, I welcome people. I know to, you do. Because yes. you, you have that welcoming personality yeah, welcome. that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and people want to help, and I want to give them the opportunity to help. Yeah, <laughs> and it, it, this is this is a great way we we can do so, right? We can't yeah. all be there to, you know, to to help the women every day, That's but the fact right. that we can give some resources to help those like yourself, mm -hmm. um, to ensure that you know the women are helped, you know, because to me the best type of help is a hand up. If you give a hand it up, is. people will stand up and they'll keep up and then they'll go back mm -hmm. and give another hand up. They do. So that's what it, was done know. for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I do say to people that, you know, when I first came to Douglas County, I came to do ministry. I, I wasn't trying to pay it forward. Um, I was just going to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it turned out that I had the opportunity to pay it mm -hmm. forward to as well. It forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very no, I'm very uh, grateful for mm -hmm. the opportunity. I'm not grateful for having to go through what I went through, but right. God turned it around into something really good. He, he wow. really did. Wow. He said he'll give you beauty mm -hmm. for your ashes. Yes, I definitely can see the beauty uh -huh. out of those ashes. Yes. 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 Yeah. Well, we thank you for JC Freedom House. We thank you for taking the time out to come out oh. today and inform the community of what we have here and how the community can help support it, sustain it, and keep it going. Absolutely. Right. I, I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you, No problem. Thank you, Marigold. Mm -hmm. And for more information, again, you can contact Marigold Edwards at jcfreedomhouse.com and on Facebook as JC Freedom House. Until next time, thank you for joining me on District Dialogue.